What are you doing, Pipsqueak? I'm wrapping Mom's birthday gift. I give up. What is it? It's a vase. I made it myself. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I'd have never guessed. Uh, Want to see what we got her? I can't wait to see the look on her face when she opens it. And I can't wait to see the look on her face when she opens your gift. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sport, all of history's great artists have had their share of critics. Take Picasso. They laughed at him for drawing people with square heads. What you have here is a real work of art. I'm sure your mom's gonna love it. Do you really think so? Of course. Not to mention the fact that it's a one-of-a-kind creation. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Daniel, those for Mom? You know it, Squirt. One full dozen. I spared no expense. I made her a vase. We could put your roses in my vase, and we could give it to Mom together. Ooh, uh, well, the problem is your vase is too small. This is a major bouquet happening here. Just try it and see. Uh, thanks anyway, Jake. Gotta go. I'll buy something nice for Mom, even if it takes my entire savings. Five dollars and twenty-five cents? That's all? What kind of present can I buy with that? <gasps> oh, no! Don't worry, Jacob. This city is full of great gift ideas for the cash strap shopper. How much do you have again? Five dollars and twenty-five cents. Hey, maybe you can find something special at that yard sale. Wow! Is that a black velvet painting of dogs playing poker? <sighs> That clock looks pretty good. Hey! 50 cents! <laughs> hey, what a deal! That's no fair! I saw it first! I saw it first! Yeah, well, I grabbed it first. So it's mine, Tutu. Works like a charm. Maybe your mom would like this umbrella. It's only $2. Whoa! Wow. Hey, now look what you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You broke it, you bought it. Yeah, that should do. Huh? Five dollars? But you only paid 50 cents. 50 cents! Oh, just because I got a bargain doesn't mean I have to give one to you. <laughs> Look at the bright side, Jacob. That clock still shows the correct time twice a day. And you have money left over for a second gift. That's the bright side? What kind of a gift can I buy for 25 cents, Buford? How about this back scratcher? It's only a quarter. <laughs> this would be perfect. I guess so. And it is all I can afford. Look, this clock also makes a great maraca. My mom doesn't need a maraca. I wish I hadn't broken it. The back scratcher scratched my leg. That's okay, Jacob. It's called a back scratcher, but there's no harm in using it on other body parts. The clock, it's working again. What do you know? Guess I'll hang on to that after all. Hey, what about my $5? Yeah, what $5? <laughs> <sighs> You know, my granny would have appreciated a gift like this after I made her a Christmas wreath out of poison ivy. Good old granny. She makes the best onion chip cookies you've ever tasted. Onion chip cookies? Oh, yeah. They're almost as delicious as her homemade bologna ice cream. Boy, I wish I had some of that right now. Whoa! There! It's doing it again! Ugh. 
Uh, I'll never get this truck fixed before my ice cream melts. Um, anyone want a free cone? Free ice cream? Sure. Thanks. I made a wish and the broken clock got fixed. You made a wish and got some ice cream. Mmm. It does seem like a funny coincidence, even if this isn't baloney ripple. Free baloney sample! Courtesy of Sammy's downtown deli! Home of the tastiest baloney in town! This can't be true! Ah, oh, it's the best! Taste for yourself and compare. Huh? <laughs> See you later, kids. Adios! Now that's what I call a totally amazing coincidence. Mm, man, oh, what a great deal. This is the tastiest bologna in town. Mm. Mm. Buford, I was right. The box scratcher grants wishes. It grants wishes. Huh? Uh, too bad I wasted my wish fixing Leo's alarm clock. Don't worry. According to the conventions of folklore and fairy tales, we each get three wishes, which means you should have two left. That means I can still wish for a really great gift for Mom. But what should I wish for? I don't know what my mom would wish for. She always says, I wish Buford would be quiet. She also says... <gasps> you wished your voice away. Quick, wish for it back. Oh, no, you can't, you can't. But I can make the wish for you, and I'll still have one wish left. I wish that Buford would, hey! <laughs> He's gone. Oh, no, oh, no! wish for something and I got it. I asked Ma for a submarine sandwich and voila, she already made it for my lunch. Oh, mm, 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 mm. delicious. I wish Greedy Guts could see me now. Ah! Ah! No, no, my truck. Oh, nuts. I just wasted a perfectly good wish. You numbskull louse! Thanks to your incompetent plumbing, my water heater exploded! Oh, I must not have stuck enough chewing gum on those leaks. If you want to keep your cushy job in dreary meadows, I suggest you fix my hot tub immediately! <laughs> I ought to use my last wish to put an alligator in this hot tub. Maybe I'll find you a pencil and paper. This is taking too long. Oh, I get it. A phone! A phone book, right. We can find Leo's address in the phone book. Good thinking, Buford. Huh? Oh, we're losing more time. <gasps> there he is! Come on! Yeah, I don't like to complain, boss, but I wasted my second wish on account of you. Wish? Here's a wish for you. I wish you weren't such a fool! Get that thing away from me! Look out! Hmm. According to my calculations, the speed versus shock absorbency rate of the collision was 3.72 kilogram meters per square centimeter per second squared plus or minus 5%. Blouse? That knock on your head has turned you into a janitorial genius! Hey, hey, wait a minute. 
Ooh, these does have enchanted powers. Ooh, it could make me wealthy beyond my wildest schemes. <laughs> I can wish for anything, and I wish to be a king! Oh, I hear the trumpeting of royal fanfare already. At Honest Tibor's used car emporium, the customer is always king. I wasted a wish for this? I meant I wanted to be a real king! Perhaps your desire to be king is related to repressed feelings of anger caused by your sibling getting more attention from your mother. I'll show you some unrepressed anger, you psycho-babbling intellectual nincompoop! Now's our chance! Oh! They've got my back scratcher! Get in, louse! It looks like I've cornered a couple of scrawny little alley rats. <laughs> Subtracting the width of the vehicle from that of the alleyway would appear to leave insufficient space for either door to open wide enough for exiting. Brilliant observation, Einstein. We'll be back, Tutu. There's nowhere to hide. You hear me? Nowhere to hide! We have to get out of here and fast. Buford? Buford, this is no time for charades. Of course, the fire escape. Greedy Guts will never look for us up here, which means I'll have lots of time to come up with a wish for the perfect gift for my mom. Oh, right, first things first. I wish that Buford would get his voice back. It's working, Buford. <laughs> What's that? Hey, it's the cap off the ketchup bottle. I thought something tasted funny in my scrambled eggs. Right, it's time for you to wish for that perfect gift for your mom. Oh, boy. What should I wish for? Something totally extravagant that she would never dream of getting for herself. Does she have a cheese organizer? No. Uh, that's a unique gift idea, but... Huh? No! Oh, I've got a fighter, Leo! <laughs> <laughs> Aha! It's my... Oh. Give that back! Oh, that does it, Tutu. You're going to wish I didn't have one wish left, because it's payback time. So, what'll it be, you little brat? Shall I send you to a mosquito-infested jungle in the Congo? Or an ice floe in Antarctica? Uh... Uh, pardon me for interjecting, but making decisions while overcome with anger can be unwise at best. And at worst, fraught with folly. You're right, Leo. I'm not about to waste my last wish on some pesky kid. I'll use it to become the richest man in the world. And you're going to use your brilliant mind to help me word my wish just right. Yeah. All right, Leo. What's the most explicit way to word my wish for an enormous mountain of cash to appear right there? Is that really what you want? This is an opportunity to wish for something even the richest man cannot buy. True love. True love? You mean, besides true love for money and power? Yes, for once in your life, you need to feel a passionate embrace. You need to experience the power of true love. <laughs> All right. I'll do it. I wish for true love. Yeah! Yeah! 
Put me down, you grotesque monster! <laughs> <gasps> oh, why didn't I make that wish when I had the chance? Huh? The Black Scratcher. I can make my last wish after all. And I wish for... I wish for... Bertha! Bertha, come back! Come back, Bertha, you great big gorgeous pachyderm! I'm on location in the city's west end where an unusual struggle between man and beast continues to unfold. <gasps> Calm down, Bertha, darling! Calm down! No one's going to hurt you. What about me? Stop it! You foul-smelling beast! We usually consider elephants as sensitive, gentle creatures. What made this one go berserk? Oh, Bertha's been upset since her baby ran away from the circus yesterday. She's taken that portly fellow as a substitute. Hey, greedy guts! Your wish came true! There's no truer love than that of a mother for her baby! Yay! How wonderful! I've never felt this close to anyone. Oh! Oh, you're crushing me! I have to do something. But if I rescue Greedy Guts with my last wish, I won't have any wishes left for Mom. What should I do, Buford? What should I do? Buford? And best wishes to my aunt and her 39 cats. Hi, Aunt Rosie. Hi, Whiskers. Hi, Skittish. Hi, One-Eyed Max. Hi, Little Ripper. Hi, you see. <laughs> oh! I wish that um, oh. the elephant would stop squishing Principal Greedy Guts. This way. While you didn't get the perfect gift for your mother, you did give the mother elephant the best gift she could wish for. I guess you're right, Buford. I'll take that one more time. Not again. Not again. Ha <laughs> ha! It's mine once again. Far be it for me to question your logic. But aren't you forgetting that you've used up your entire quota of wishes? I might be out of wishes, but you still have one left, Laos. And if you know what's good for you, you'll wish for me to be the richest man in the world! Oh, yes, I do know what's good for me. And what's good for all humanity. World peace. I wish for... No! Stop! <coughs> uh, I wish I... Uh... I, uh, I wish. Hey, mister, can I have the ball? Nice bathing suit. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could have some more of that free baloney. There you go. I was keeping this for later, but you might as well have it. Hey, kid, you're all right. Leo, you <laughs> no yeah. good for mopping fool. Three chances to wish for anything. And I still don't have a present for my mom. Don't worry, Jacob. I'll make your wish. I forgot. You still have one wish left. You really don't mind doing that? You don't mind? Jacob, who freed my frozen tongue from a flagpole? Who rescued my pants from that big dog? Who got the fire extinguisher when I leaned too close to the birthday candles? My mom. I know, she's my hero too. That's why she deserves something special. It's up to me. <clears throat> oh, wondrous and handy back scratcher, I wish for the perfect present for Jacob's mom. The perfect present is my vase? Hey, that looks really good. I hope mom thinks so too. And don't forget about this. You can keep that, Buford. Really? Great! With this thing, 
I almost look forward to being itchy. This one's from me. I wonder what this could be. Watch her say the same thing when she sees what's inside. <laughs> <gasps> I love it! Where did you ever find something so unique? Actually, I made it myself. Oh, Jacob, you're so creative. I'm going to display this right over here on the mantel. What I tell you, kiddo, she couldn't have wished for anything nicer. And neither could I, Dad. Neither could I. <laughs>